I told myself, I'm like, is this for people that like, you know, like couldn't like do it like the way my mom and her friends told me to do it. So these are just for that people. And then I meet this guy, Simon Chan. Okay, and it was actually in this building, the room next door. You know, um, Helen had invited Simon to speak. It was my first year in the business. And he put things in such a way, and he's, just from his background and his accolades, I was like, wow, I'm in the right place. Let me tell you guys a little bit about Simon Chan. Mom. Simon Chan is, he had, you know, people say, oh, kids never market for people that don't have the job that they want. Guy, this guy had a dream job. He was an NBA scout. He was basically the Chinese Jerry Maguire. Right? <laughs> he, he, was, he was in a professional setting. He was an NBA scout. Show me the money. Like, he's going to tell us how to say show me the money in Chinese, right? But, uh, but not only was he an NBA agent, so he had a dream job. Okay, he's very successful there. Certainly a position that people aspire to be at, you know, being in that profession, in that industry, um, being that. But this is a, a, someone who graduated from the University of Columbia. Wow, okay. Columbia, woo, big time, right? I believe. And for someone to have that type of job, that type of education, to then choose to pursue, not only just network marketing, but a network marketing business with USANA Health Sciences, that said, that, that was everything I needed to hear, you know? Let me tell you about this guy when he comes up. He is a three-star diamond director, wow. okay? Three-star, he is part of the Million Dollar Club in USADA. He is currently the reigning, I feel like I've I brushed off earlier. Um, he's currently the reigning, undisputed, you know, presence award winner, which basically means the entire company of USADA Health Sciences this past year, or last year, he was a number one grower in the entire industry, or the entire company, okay? And so, he's currently a member of the 2012-2013 IDC board. Nice. So I want you guys to get your notepads out. Yeah. Put your hands together for Mr. Simon Chan. Give me that chair. So once upon a time, in the land far, far away, it was the land of the angry birds. And they had this big, bald ego. And in the land of the angry birds, they had network marketing. Because you see, network marketing, people, we've been doing this for centuries. Most people do network marketing, but you just don't realize it, right? It's natural for us to like something, and share the products. Yeah. And in the land of Angry Birds, they had network marketing too. And they had this really successful leader, and his name was the Big Bald Eagle. <laughs> he was the eagle, you know why? Because when he flies, he has vision. Other people get worried about rejection, but he has vision, he sees miles and miles ahead. So he's not worried about short obstacles. He also, because he built his business, has the freedom to fly wherever he wants. Life is so easy. One flap of the wings, and you can go for miles. He also could travel wherever he wanted. And because of the business, he had a legacy. A legacy that will last forever. So the land far, far away, <laughs> the big bald eagle, had a little, little young eagle. And the little young eagle wanted to be successful like the big bald ego. So how does prospecting work, big bald ego? How does it work? Well, it's very, very simple. Well, first of all, don't make the five daily mistakes. Second of all, you gotta be careful about the different type of prospects that you meet. There are nine different birds. So what are the birds that we need to look for, Mr. Bald Ego? The first bird is like us, we're egos. We are motivated, we're driven, we want to take action and change our lives. That's the type of person you're looking for. So, Mr. Big Bald Ego, are you meaning the people in this room? Exactly. Those are the people you're looking for. Oh, so that's pretty easy. I just go out there and find these people. But wait, before you go out there, I gotta warn you about something. There's eight other birds out there. You gotta be careful of them. So what are the eight type of birds? So the first type of bird, first type of bird, I'm talking about the eagle. The second type of bird is the ostrich. What do you know about the ostrich? 
Well, I know the ostrich, they are big birds and they, sometimes they put their head in the sand. And um, that's right, and what happens to these birds? Well, when you put your head in the sand, they, these are kind of like a prospects, they know it all. They know what their life would be like, they got a great job, they, they know what's gonna happen, they have their pension plans, and what's gonna happen to these, these birds? Well, because they have their head in the sand, they're gonna be whacked in the butt and they're knocked out. <laughs> I see. So the th next type of bird is the peacock. What do you know about peacocks? Well, peacocks are pretty, they're so pretty. Right, everyone loves peacocks. But take a look, after you take away the feathers, what do you see? Well, if you take away the feathers, they're actually kind of a tiny bird. That's right, so the peacocks are the people out there. They may have nice cars, dress nice clothes, they may act successful, but if you look at the bank account, it's very, very tiny, like a peacock. <laughs> So the fourth type of bird is the cuckoo bird. <laughs> what do you know about the cuckoo bird? Oh, these birds are so lame. You know, every hour, like 2 p.m., they go like this, cuckoo, cuckoo, and they go back. And then when it's 3 p.m., they go back out there, and they go, cuckoo, 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 and they go back. Exactly. So the cuckoo birds, these are the people in the stuck in the normal routines. They go to job at nine and get off at five. After five, they go home, listen to the radio, they make dinner, and then they watch TV. On Friday, if they have a little bit of money left from the paycheck, they go out and have a nice dinner at Pizza Hut. <laughs> and then they work hard. At the end of the year, they get the 2% raise. Everything's a system they're afraid to change. So the next type of bird is the pigeon. So a little eagle, what do you know about the pigeon? Well, the pigeon, they actually have some talent because they fly pretty fast, right? You try to catch them, you can't catch a pigeon. They can fly, they're, they're not the prettiest, but they, they are pretty adept. But what else do you know about the pigeon? Seems like they're just wasting the talents away. They could do so much, but they end up eating off the scraps of people. They eat the garbage and the scraps. Exactly. These are the prospects that they just settle. They just settle for the job. They have so much potential to accomplish more, but they're just happy being where they are, eating the scraps. The next type of bird is the turkey. <laughs> now, what do you know about the turkey bird? But a turkey bird, they're loud. They like to gobble, 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 gobble. They do all the talking. But do they ever do anything? <laughs> no, they just talk and talk. And then what happens to them? They never take action and they end up in the dinner table by the humans. They kill them and eat them. So don't stay away from the turkeys. Now the next bird is the chickens. What do you know about chickens? Well, the chickens, it actually seems like they want to do something in life. They want to get started with something. But they're always scared. That's why the humans make fun of them and call them chickens. And then what happens to the chickens? Well, they end up like being a turkey, being eaten by the humans. And then the next bird is the dodo bird. What do you know about the dodo bird? Oh, the dodo birds, they're pathetic to our race. They're the only birds that can't fly. What type of bird? They shouldn't even be called dodo birds. That's right, the dodo bird is when you bring them to a meeting, they sit in the back, and they go there, and they fall asleep. <laughs> And there's one last bird you have to be careful about. And that is a super dodo bird. <laughs> What's the super dodo? The super dodo is when you go to the house to pick up the meeting. See, the dodo bird makes it to the meeting. 
but he just falls asleep. The super dodo, when you go to his house, you find him. Remote control on one hand, a bag of chips on the other, and he's passed out like this. So those are your nine type of prospects. Okay? You're looking for egos. So you know what to expect already, right? If you're new, the journey's up and down. But you're looking for the egos. Tell you, apply what you learn. Don't walk. Don't be a chicken. Be an ego. Because you all are egos. Why? Why are you egos? Because you are here today. Right? There's so many things you can be doing in LA on a Saturday morning. You can be slipping in at the beach, but you are here today because you are an ego. Are you an ego? Yes. Say it Are you an ego? Yes. So go apply, learn to fly like an ego. And remember, we're in the profession to help others. So go out there and have a positive impact on someone's life today. God bless you all. Thank you.